Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Kavre, a couple that loves to play board games. And we wish we were going to Essen. We definitely do. Essen has the largest tabletop convention in the entire world. Yes. Where thousands of games are debuted. Yeah. And sold. And today, I did some research and looked at some of the upcoming games that I'm personally excited about. <laughs> so I'm going to present them to Tyler to see if the excitement is equal, lower, way lower, or maybe even surpasses my own. Ooh. Yeah, looking at a thousand games is pretty overwhelming for me, especially considering we've got a lot of games already in our collection that I like to play. So I usually tend to veer away from the lists. And Ilya tells me about some of the games that he's excited about. And we wanted to share that experience with you folks. Exactly. This is like your little personal, intimate situation where I'm telling Tyler stuff, but you're just there. But hopefully you get to learn about some games as well. Maybe add some to your shopping list if you're going to Essen. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can send us some of the games. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, without further ado, should we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, well, before we get started, I have a quick list of games that we've played or covered already that we thought I quickly want to just shout out because they're great games. Right. Okay. Ready? In no particular order. Okay. White Castle. Nice. Cascadia Landmarks. Even nicer. Sky Team. Sky Team's brilliant. Forest Shuffle. Forest Shuffle. Oh my goodness. All of these games are great right now. Uh, Tucana Builders. Tucana Builders is good, yeah. Fit to Print. Fit to Print is amazing. Uh, Kutna Hora. Kutna Hora, we've heard of, haven't played. We got to see the we little... We got to do a little demo, I yes, suppose. Yeah. Yeah. And we talked about it in our Gamma recap a little bit. Yes, it did seem pretty exciting, though. So, mm -hmm. And then, last but not least, Spellbook. Spellbook, yes. It's right there. And we've played it. I actually enjoyed this one, too. Yeah, Phil Walker Harding, yeah. great game. But now we will talk about some of the games I'm excited about. Some of these I've told you about, but some of these may be new to you. New to me. And I have some visuals for Tyler here as well. So yes. if you see us looking down at the visuals, we'll show you the visuals too. But Tyler needs to cover, see as well. Right? Yeah. So here we go. Yes. So the first game on our list is Planta Nubo. So this is a game from Game Crafters. And uh, it's co-designed, I think, by four, three people. But Uwe Rosenberg is one of them. Oh. Is it tile placement then? There is a tile placement component aspect to it, okay. but it seems really interesting. Everything mm -hmm. I've seen about this game is just really clever. Uh, there's uh, there's quite a neat aspect of, I think, action drafting, but okay. also tile placement and a little bit of worker placement as well. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of everything. This feels more of like Uwe's kind of old, older games of like... The mix of everything, like a piece right. for Odin okay. potentially, like but piece. like a lighter version of that. Uh, now, is he like a co-designer, or is he like a, um, like, did he just have like some say in it, so maybe like sprinkled some stuff in? I am not 100% sure, ah. but I do know it's designed by Michael Keller, uh, Andreas Od Odendahl, and Uwe Rosenberg. Uwe Rosenberg. So we'll have to see what comes out of it, but all the visuals and all the stuff I've heard about this game have been really exciting. Yes. I can see here on BGG that it's rated 4 out of 5 as complexity, which so maybe actually it is gets me pretty excited. To that feast for Odin level. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's very so, exciting. This one could be one to keep an eye on. Excited? Mm -hmm. Excited. Next one. Next one we have is World Wonders. So we unfortunately missed out on this one at Gen Con because we were so busy. They didn't have copies there, right. but it is a poly omno game and where you're building oh. different civilizations from Arcane Wonders uh, and it's designed by Zay Mendez. Oh, I feel like this one we should have been covering for poly omno. We're trying we're to. Trying to? Okay. We're trying to, but oh. it, the retail release here is November, so it might be really oh. close for a poly omno. I see. Okay. Yes. All right, this picture looks like it reminds me of my city. Yeah, I don't know too much about it. I just like the look of it. I like the feel of it. And I've heard really good things around. Polyominos. Polyominos. Maybe I'm just like really excited about Polyominos right now because of Polyomino Month, but yeah. Speaking of Polyomino Month, there is another Polyomino game I want to share, and it is called Sea Dragons. Oh, this one you've told me about. So before. I have shown you this yes. one. Uh, yeah. It is from Fractal Uegos. You, I, I don't know how to actually pronounce it. Okay. Uh, but it is designed by Yaniv Kahana, Simone Luciani, and Pini Schechter. Okay. Um, and 
It reminds me a little bit of what's that blue orange game? Um, with yeah. uh, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. You just like make you put in your mm -hmm. Loch Ness monsters. Blo yes, uh, uh, Blockness. Blockness. Is yes, it, it reminds me yeah. of that because you are basically placing your sea dragons in the tails in polyomino shapes, and there's a lot of area control. But it looks the table presence of this one looks really cool, and I can't wait to try it out. Is it like a head-to-head -head type thing where you're? Uh, the thing that I'd be interested in is wondering if it's like a, your sea dragons are like fighting against each other because even in the pictures that you have right now mm -hmm. or on BGG it looks like it's a single board that everybody is placing on. It is a single board that everybody's placing on and it's an area of majority game so there ah, could be interesting. I think there's ways to man up maneuver each of the other players. Cool. But I'm really curious to learn more about this one. Yeah. Yeah. Now up next we have and this is honestly for the theme alone. It's called Coffee Rush. Is it the same as Coffee Traders? Or? No, it is oh, not. Okay. So it is from Korea Board Games Co. And yep. essentially, you're just running a little coffee shop. Cute. And the theme in this game and the presentation in this game, like even the little glass cups, it is oh, yeah. super, super cool. Uh, and I really want to play it just for the theme alone. I don't know much about mm. it beyond that. It's like a, um, uh, a, what's the cooking game that we play online? Uh, um, the video game. The video game. The, Oh no, why can't I Where you throw ingredients yeah, at each yeah. other? That's always what I always think of um, almost immediately mm -hmm. um, when we talk about any kind of cooking games, but I don't, it's just this is both probably way far right off, but um, yeah. yeah. Okay, up next. Overcooked. Overcooked, that is a mm -hmm. really good video game. Yeah. So now we're going to enter our little roll and write category because Ooh. you know I'm excited about roll and write. Yes. I don't think you've heard about this one, okay. but the first one that I'm going to tell you about is tequila. So this is about. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. So this one's about making tequila. Amazing. Uh, and Maybe it's a, not so amazing. And it's but... a roll and write, and it seems like it's pretty layered. There's some complexity to it, but the presentation and even the box Two cover is that. it's gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, I'm really stoked to check this one out. It is designed by uh, Ru Ruben Hernandez, mm -hmm. and it's from D Stable Games. Interesting. Okay. Detestable games. Det oh, okay. Not destable. De oh, They're question. detestable. Yeah. <laughs> it's got two boards, so mm -hmm. it's already screaming um, probably a heavier, uh, like mid to heavyweight Does it roll and right. At least that's what it looks like. They're set. They're separated. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Very it looks cool. like there. Uh, there's a little bit of weight to it, which gets me excited. Um, we love heavy roll and rights. Yes. Yeah. I love that it's called tequila, but I also don't like that it's called tequila. Okay. But that's for alcohol reasons. <laughs> but the weight is lower, so I'm curious what that weight actually will right. oh, yeah. turn out, what it will actually be. Okay, cool. Now the next roll and write we'll talk Ooh. about is walking in Burano roll and write. Okay, so is this by A this is not by AEG? Well, AEG actually adapted the original version. Oh, so this is the. So we haven't so even played the original original. Well, it's it's the same it's game. The same. Okay. It's the same game. It's yeah. just published by AEG as well. Oh. Uh, but this is from Emperor S4, and essentially it is the roll and write version of Walking in Burano. That's all I need to know. I want it. Walking we, in Burano is a lot of fun. It is. And actually, like, the cool story behind that is we were fortunate enough to go to one of the AE, AEG, mm -hmm. like, um, headquarters mm -hmm. and able to uh, find ourselves, like, a copy of this game because mm -hmm. it's out of print. Yeah, because when my coworker actually showed it to me, because mm -hmm. uh, usually we're always the ones introducing games, yeah. and this was a game that was introduced to us. Mm -hmm. So it a, has a special place in our heart. Yes, and Roll and Rights, of course. And Roll and Rights, of course. Now the next Roll and Write is Newsboys. Newsboys. So this one is from Sashi. It's from Sashi and Sashi. Okay, yeah. And sure. essentially you are trying to expand your newspaper delivery area. Oh. Uh, I feel like Sashi's games are just fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm so, so, this is probably one of the ones I'm most excited for to play. This one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I saw the cover and I, I, I was like, oh, that's like Jersey Boy type thing, but mm -hmm. obviously Newsboys. And mm -hmm. then I was like, hmm, not so sure Ilya will like this. So to hear you say that, because the immediate, at least, like, look at it, uh -huh. it's very, like, retro, old school, oh. but the theme is kind of neat in that um, expanding of your newspaper business, essentially. Yeah. I think the designer and, like, the vibe just sells me immediately, yeah. so, especially in a roll and write world, too, so I'm very excited. Now, the last roll and write in our 
roll in red cover mini coverage is high season so this is the grand austria hotel roll uh -huh. red game. i was just gonna ask we have not played grand austria hotel but we've heard phenomenal yeah. things so this will be a really interesting uh which comes first which will come which will we play first because we've been wanting to play grand austria hotel quite a bit mm -hmm. and it's always recommended to us but we're obviously going to play this role right because we adore roll and rights yeah so it depends on when we get this one though so exactly yeah but it looks absolutely glorious it has a lot of the similar vibes of like the translation of the road what's the a coin bra is the one i was thinking of oh, yeah. that's also like a yeah. translation but um i'm very excited to check it out and see what it has to offer alhambra no no alhambra oh, not coin bra oh, oh, alhambra yeah. it's like, yeah. hang on you're right yeah. you're very right yeah i'm always excited when they do translations into board games or into roll and write so it'll be good i'll have to I'm compare sure it'll be good I guess now let's talk about a little bit about sequels and expansions. Okay, nice. So, expansion, Evergreen, Pines, and Cacti. Ooh, Pines and Cacti. So, this is from Hallmar Hutch, oh, and it's from Horrible Guild. Yeah. And essentially what it's doing is it's expanding the great game Evergreen. I like that. I really liked Evergreen. Yes. I liked a lot about it. It's what I wanted photosynthesis to be. Yep, I agree. Uh, that's how I felt about the game, and it was fantastic. And I love that they're adding kind of a couple more elements to the game. Mm -hmm. So from the description here, pine cones, you can plant pines, and mm -hmm. if they're actually in the shadow, they'll grow. Nice, okay, cool. And then cacti, they need that they sunlight, need so if they're ever in the shadow, they're dead, Ooh. they're gone. Okay, Because they need consistent sunlight, which is thematic, it makes sense. So I'm really excited to, for that game to be elevated. That's and cool, you just add like two different types of trees and you're good And there to could go. be more as well. Yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay, mm -hmm. neat. Um, definitely into this because Evergreen is great. Kind yeah. of, I think it's underrated. I also think it's underrated. Yeah. More people should be talking about Evergreen. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Let's see. So this is a sequel. A sequel? And it is Dorf Romantic Dos Duel. What? Oh, like, oh. It's like a... So it's a two-player only. Yep. Competitive. Oh, I was gonna ask. I was wondering. Competitive? Is it competitive? I was wondering if they would like release a competitive version or something like that. Yeah, allows two, two players or, or two teams to compete. Yeah. So you are wow. competing. Dwarf Romantic is fantastic. Yes. It did win the Spiel des Jahres this year. It's a, such a cool game. It takes an adaptation of a video game. But the board game, I think, is better than the video game. Yes. I think it's implemented ex extraordinarily well. So I'm really excited to see what the two-player version of this game looks like. We love two-player games. Mm -hmm. The fact that it's a game that we also enjoy, 10 out of 10 excited. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know where I stand with the is video it better game. than the video game thing, but I did really enjoy this game, so seeing a competitive type version come out is, is exciting, yes. What, what, what will happen? Except, yeah. I think my only qualm about that is I picture Dorf Romantic as like this cozy, sweet game where like mm -hmm. we're doing our things and building our little like whole system and adding a competitive thing may or may not take away from it, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. That'll be the spicy mm -hmm. outtake. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay, well, we have two more games to get through, or three more games to get through. Are you ready for them? Yes, let's do it. So this one is the same game. So I don't know, you probably won't be as the excited about this game. one. Because it is a party game mm. that is cooperative, and it's about communication. Okay. So, so far... This is definitely Lower not Tyler's type of game, <laughs> yes. but the reason I think it's very exciting is because it's designed by Wolfgang Warsh. Ah, now Wolfgang Warsh designs Quacks of Quendelberg, The Mind, Clever Forever, and other Clever series, Wavelength. So yes. the range is just so large, right? And I feel like every single game that okay. he has designed has been a banger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm very curious where this game lands. I think essentially you're communicating and comparing different objects and trying to find commonalities. Like how does a pizza cutter relate to a bagpipe or something like that. Oh, okay. And then you're trying to also, tr there's trap cards that you're trying to avoid potentially. So I don't know the intricacies of the game, but it's that very much communication party-esque type of game. But because it's designed by Wolfgang Warsh, I'm very curious what the vibe is going to be. Still unsure about it as a party game, but I th it does sound just from your description that it could bring a lot of laughs, mm -hmm. so that does get me excited. Okay. Yeah. This is the one I thought you'd be least excited for. This one so far is my least. Fair. Yeah. Okay, but these two I think you're going to be very excited about. Very excited about? I left them for the end just for you. Mm. So the first one is 
Rats of Wistar. I like the name. So this is from Cranio Creations. It was designed okay, by yeah. Simon Luciani and Danilo Sabia. Uh -huh. Now Simon Luciani has designed Darwin's Journey, yep. uh, Barrage, mm -hmm. and like a lot of those types of games that you really enjoy. Yes. Yeah. Now this is a worker placement, uh, primarily game with variable setup. But here's a picture of what it looks like. Oh, cute. Uh, oh, it's you're underground. you're okay. essentially pl placing mice, and it has a healthy very competitive quite heavy type of strategy game and i think because it's also so beautiful i'm really excited to see what it looks like i am excited about this one yeah 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 darwin's journey is absolutely stunning and mm -hmm. really fun so like this is definitely going to be something that's great or i'm sure is going to be great it's about animals too so mm -hmm. it's, yeah the cover is just gorgeous. So yeah, I'm really I stoked. I keep on looking at the cover. I'm so. really, really stoked to help the intelligent rats explore their new home. Yes. Yeah. They're just so smart. But that is really cool. Cranio, awesome. Now, the last game that we are going to talk about today is Civilution. Civilution. So this is the new okay. Steffenfeld game. Oh. Uh, there's not a lot of pictures here because not a lot has been revealed. But the one thing that has been revealed, and I'm, I'm fairly confident I did not write this down, this is from my own brain, but this is a Stefan Feld game that has the most iconography out of all of his games. That's terrifying. How does that make you feel? That's terrifying. <laughs> That's terrifying. So Stefan Feld is very known for having a ton of iconography in the game, mm -hmm. a ton of different actions. And I don't think it's actually, now I'm remembering, I don't think it's the iconography, I think it's the different actions you can take. Oh, it has okay. the most differing actions you can take on a turn. Interesting. I'll pull up, if there's a quote, I'll pull it up because I remember seeing it, so I'll try to find it for this video. Okay. But because of that, it's also published by Deep Print Games, who does an amazing job with all their games that they do. Um, I'm very excited about this game. Yes, I feel like it will be a hard teach mm -hmm. to get in and a hard game to get into, but I'm sure it will be great because it's by Steve, Steven, Stefan, Stefan, mm -hmm. Stefan Felt. So I, um, I'm also excited for it, but it, it does, um, make me both happy and concerned that there is more, more, more happening. Actions, more actions. <laughs> yeah, Bonfire is one of my favorite games. So it's super good. I'm very, very excited to see what Civilution has in store. Yeah. I like that Civilution. That's a good name. Civilution. And that is the games we're excited for that are coming to Essen. The games that you're excited for. I'm excited for them too now that you've explained them to me. Fair. But I hey, I wouldn't know any other games that are coming to Essen. Do you out. know any other games that are coming to Essen? Uh, I don't think so. That's okay. At least off the top of my head. <laughs> like games that aren't already familiar with us or that I'm familiar with, like I wouldn't be able to say, oh, there's a brand new game of That's this fair. coming up. That's usually my job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But out of all the ones that we talked about today, which one are you most excited for? Hmm. I think actually maybe the Evergreen expansion. Okay. Or Rats. Of okay. Wistera. Wister. 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 That, Wistar. Wistar. So both of those games Wistar. I think I'm Wister. probably the most excited for. Okay. Um, sea Dragons I'm intrigued by, okay. but we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then Tequila I'm also intrigued by. Ooh. I think those are the four that like stuck to my brain the mm -hmm. most. Um, but yeah. I think I'm most excited about Newsboys. Newsboys. And Civilution. Civilution, yeah. Those Civilution I'm definitely excited for. That goes without saying. You're just a little intimidated. I'm a little intimidated That's by fair. It. Yeah. That's super fair. Yeah. Well, if you are going to Essen, actually for our question of the day, what games that are coming up are you excited about? Mm -hmm. Whether that be a new game that's fulfilling a Kickstarter, one that just hit retail, maybe it's just one that you picked up recently uh, and you've been waiting for for quite some time. Who knows? Maybe it's one of these games on the list. Or you can refuse to answer that question of the day and tell us about a game that you really enjoy that's on your shelf. Exactly. Because, you know, we got to play our games as well. We can't just always talk about the new games that are coming out. That is very, very true. Very, very, true. very true. But if you enjoyed this video, give us that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, we make board game content. And this is a new take on something that we're trying. Tyler React. Yeah. How so, did you react? Yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.